Inside Charles and Mother Hen Camilla's marriage as soulmates celebrate 19 years. Exclusive, as King Charles and Queen Camilla celebrate their 19th wedding anniversary, a leading royal expert offers a glimpse into the pair's loving relationship. Every wedding anniversary is special but for King Charles and Queen Camilla this week's milestone date will bring with it added poignancy and a time for reflection. Welcome. If you're new here please do not forget to subscribe, like and hit the notification bell to remain updated about the British royal family. It is 19 years since the royal couple made their vows at a civil ceremony at Windsor's Guildhall watched by a global audience of millions and 35 years since they first met. However, despite the memory of the joy of that momentous day, it is open to question whether the couple will mark the occasion with a large celebration or party. After all, the king is continuing with his treatment for cancer and, although pictured looking well at the recent Easter Sunday service at Windsor Castle, is under doctor's orders not to overdo it. Instead, the couple may use the landmark day to contemplate how far they have come as a partnership, the storms they have weathered along the way and the hurdles which they still must face. Camilla is Charles's soulmate, his rock, his sounding board, his best friend, and, as he always says his darling wife. She soothes him, comforts him and makes him laugh former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond tells as she reflects on the couple's many years together. It was at their low-key wedding ceremony, first at Windsor Guildhall and later in a religious blessing at St George's Chapel on 9 April 2005 where they were finally allowed to make their love for one another official. But almost two decades on, their vows to keep one another in sickness and in health ring true today than ever. There's no doubt that illness, particularly in old age, focuses the mind on how important family and friends are in our lives Jenny says as well as on how much we love and depend on our partners when the going gets tough. I'm sure Camilla will have been clucking around Charles like a mother hen. Facing cancer together will give the king strength and support and, I believe, will only deepen their love. And I'm sure that Camilla's fortitude in all this will have made Charles even more proud of her than he already was. He will have rejoiced to see the large crowds turn out to see his queen as she takes on a bigger role ensuring that the monarchy remains in touch with as many people as possible, even in times of adversity. Jenny imagines the pair will mark their anniversary by simply being with one another, enjoying their favorite shared passions in whatever way they can. I think they'll spend the day quietly together, partly because they aren't great party animals, partly because of his illness and also because I suppose this date will always be rather poignant as it was the 9th of April that Prince Philip died. I suspect they exchanged cards and maybe gifts, probably have a walk if they can and perhaps a romantic dinner. But much will depend on how well the king is feeling and how much his cancer treatment is affecting his stamina and his appetite. Looking back throughout her career covering their relationship, the moment they emerged as a couple and every milestone they have marked since, Jenny reflects on the events that led to the pair finally tying the knot. There must have been so many times when Charles despaired of ever being allowed to live openly with the woman he has loved for 50 years she says. I knew and liked Diana but when it was clear that her marriage was beyond repair, I couldn't see any reason why Charles and Camilla should continue to hide away. In public talks, I would ask the audience just how long we all expected this loved-up couple to scurry around in secret. The answer was almost always hostile towards Camilla. Gradually, though, public opinion began to soften. Thanks for watching till the end.